Come, let us sing praises. Come, let us love God. Come, let us bless His name. God is a stronghold. God is a safety. So let us bless His name. Come, let us praise the Lord. Thank Him with all His song. Come, let us meet the Lord, the rock of our safety. Our God is great above other gods. He is the King of heaven and earth. Come, let us sing praises. Come, let us love God. Come, let us bless His name. God is a stronghold, God is a safety, so let us bless His name. Dear friends in Jesus Christ, today we specially pray for the following intentions. Diocese of Kadapa, St. Mary's Cathedral Parish, this Mass is offered for Divyavani TV Corpus Fund, Donor, late Doctor Ambavarapu Lakshmi Reddy, Lurdu Reddy, on his death anniversary, may his soul rest in peace by Alphonse Samma, Sudha Rani, Dr. Raja Reddy, Sailaja Rani, Murli Dhar Reddy, Priyanka and family members. Today's Rosary, Divine Mercy Chaplet, Word of God, Holy hour are also offered for this family and their intentions. This Mass is offered for thanks, thanking God for all the graces received by Rosemary and family. For these intentions and also people, those who are helping for the growth of Divyavani, we pray so that God may bless and Give his graces to each and everyone during this Mass. Good afternoon, dear brothers and sisters. We begin this Holy Eucharist. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, in today's Gospel reading, we are going to hear Jesus cast out the demon. The demonic person came to him and when Jesus rebuked it, immediately it left from him. Yes, dear friends, the Lord has authority over unclean spirits. Not only on earth and also on heaven, he has authority. Matthew chapter 18, we read, 28 verse 18. The Lord has authority over heaven and on earth. Therefore, he was able to cast out the demon. Yes, dear friends, we too have the evil thoughts before we partake in this holy Eucharist. Let us call to mind all our sins and ask pardon from the Lord. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, done and in what I have failed to do, do through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. 
Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good. And by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The natural person does not accept the things of the Spirit of God. The spiritual person judges all things. First reading, a reading from the first letter of St. Paul's to the Corinthians, chapter 2, verses 10 to 16. Brethren, the Spirit searches everything, even the depths of God, for who knows a person's thoughts except the spirit of the person which is in him. So also no one compares in the thoughts of God except the spirit of God. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God, that we might understand the things freely given us by God, and we impart this the words not taught by the human wisdom, but taught by the spirit. In Interpreting spiritual truths to those who are spiritual, the natural person does not accept the things of the Spirit of God, for they are fluffy to him, and he is not able to understand them, because they are spiritually discerned. The spiritual person judges all things, but is himself to be judged by no one. For who has understood the mind of the Lord so as to instruct him, but who have the minds of Christ? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Your response, the Lord is just in all his ways. The Lord is just in, in all his ways. The Lord is kind and full of compassion, slow to anger, abounding in mercy. How good is the Lord to all, compassionate to all his creatures. Your response, the Lord is just in all his ways. The Lord is just, just in, in all, all his, his ways. ways. All your works shall thank you, O Lord, and all your faithful ones bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your reason and declare your mighty deeds. Your response, the Lord is just in all his ways. The Lord is just in, in all his ways. The Lord is faithful in all his words and holy in all his deeds. The Lord supports to who fall and raise up all who are bowed down. Your response, the Lord is just in all his ways. The Lord is just in all his ways. Sing hallelujah to the Lord. Sing hallelujah to the Lord. Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah to the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has let us be glad and rejoice in it. Let us be glad in it. Let us be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. Sing hallelujah to the Lord. Sing hallelujah to the Lord. Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah to the Lord. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Luke chapter 4, verses from 31 to 37. He went down to Capernaum, a city in Galilee, and was teaching them on the Sabbath. They were astounded at his teaching because he spoke with them in authority. In the synagogue, there was a man who had the spirit of an unclean demon, and he cried out with a loud voice, Let us alone. What have to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? I will come to destroy us. I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus rebuked him, saying, Be silent and come out of him. When the demon had thrown him down before them, he came out of him without having done any, any harm. They were all amazed and kept saying to one another, What kind of utterance is this? For with authority and power he commands the unclean spirits and out they came and the report about him began to reach every place in the region the gospel of the lord praise to lord jesus christ dear brothers and sisters in jesus christ just now we have heard in the gospel reading Jesus was preaching in the synagogue on the Sabbath day. Why Jesus was preaching in the Capernaum? Because the Capernaum is the town where the business is done. All the people travel in that way. Therefore, many people used to gather in that place. Often Jesus used to preach in that place. Therefore, Jesus preached in the Capernaum on the Sabbath day. As he was preaching, there was a man who had unclean spirit came out of him and it began to shout. But Jesus was preaching in authority. John chapter 17, verse 2, we read, Jesus spoke with an authority. Matthew chapter 28, verse 18, the authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me, Jesus says. The authority is given. The same authority also given to the disciples. Matthew chapter 10, verse 1. The Lord summoned his disciples and he gave authority to them to cast out the demons. Yes, dear friends, the same Lord has given authority to each and every one of us. Are we using this authority? As the scribes and the Pharisees also used to proclaim the word of God, preach, but here, Jesus is something different. He is preaching with a great authority. John chapter 7, verse 16 says, It is not I who preach. The Lord who is in me is preaching. The Father who is in me is giving the words to proclaim. Jesus is filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 10, verse 38 says, the Lord anointed Jesus of Nazareth with power, with the Spirit. Therefore, he went on doing good. Wherever he went, he went on doing good. He was casting out the demons and proclaiming the good news, curing the sick, because he was filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. He was preaching with the great authority and power. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, verse 1 to 4, we read, The apostles, when they upright of the Jews, they were in the upper room after the resurrection. And they were praying rigorously to receive the power of the Holy Spirit. When they received the power of the Holy Spirit, they came out, they began to proclaim to whom they, have, uh, they were afraid because they were filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. They were preaching with the authority. In the same way, Jesus also began to preach with the authority. And the demon came out and began to shout, what have to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? I will come to destroy us. Then Jesus says, Be silent and come out of him. Immediately, 
the demon left from him. Yes, dear friends, there is a power in the words of Jesus. There is anointing. There is a life in the words of Jesus. When the evil spirit says, what have to do with us? Have you come to destroy us? Yes, dear friends, 1 John chapter 3, verse 8 says, the son of man came to rescue those who are possessed by the evil ones. The authority is given to each and every one of us. Matthew chapter 10 verse 1, Luke chapter 10 verse 17, Mark chapter 16 verse 17. All these words refer that God has given authority. Authority over unclean spirits. So when we command in the name of Jesus, the demons will obey. Matthew, Acts of the Apostle, chapter 16, verse 16 to 18, when Paul and Silas were going to the temple, they saw the possessed girl. When they saw the possessed girl, they began immediately, they rebuked in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, come out of her immediately. The demon left from her. She was freed. She was completely all right. Yes, dear friends, we, we can perceive here by reading this, Jesus has power over unclean spirits. Jesus has power in his word. Jesus has authority over everything. He has power, he has life in his words. Therefore, John chapter 6, verse 68, John chapter 6, verse 63 also we read, there is life in his words. Therefore, the, the centurion came to Jesus and asked, Lord, my servant is not well. Come and pray over him. Then the, the Lord says, I will come. Then immediately the centurion says, I am not worthy to have you under my roof. Only you say a word. Only you say a word that is enough. My servant will be healed. In Matthew chapter 8, verse 8, we read. Matthew chapter 4, verse 24. Matthew chapter 8, verse 16, we read. That Jesus used a word. With one word, the demon could live from that person and flee. Yes, dear friends. In our life too, we are possessed with all kinds of things. We are tempted. We are addicted to all kinds of things. But one thing we need to do, we need to come to Jesus.